virus, but conspiracy theories and misinformation have been rampant online. So the Pointer Institute is working on a new feature on the popular messaging app, WhatsApp. CBS NLA's Hermela Aragawi spoke with one of the people working on that project. Joining us now to break this all down is Vibars Orsak from the Pointer Institute. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So this is probably a little overdue, honestly, at this point, but we're glad it's here. Tell us how it works. Sure, absolutely. Um, so anyone who uses WhatsApp can easily text hi to our chatbot and reach out to um, accurate information around COVID-19 and get tips and, you know, uh, how to do sort of, you know, content on how to fight against misinformation and search for fact checkers in the U.S. Uh, and get connected with them and then, you know, uh, be more protective against the falsehoods around the COVID-19. Yeah, it looks pretty simple. You essentially can just text a word, right? And it, it gives you uh, false claims that might be popular online related to that word, right? Right. So you can basically search for fact checks uh, based on the keyword and then get accurate information because we have been seeing so many falsehoods spreading in, you know, WhatsApp, in other messaging apps. And whenever you get a, you know, a not so, you know, trustworthy message from your friends, from your colleagues, from your relatives, you can just double check whether it has been already fact checked and then can, you know, access that fact check by uh, reliable and credible fact checking organizations. Then you just can forward that message to your loved ones and then you be more protected against falsehoods. Yeah. And so why did you guys choose WhatsApp to do it on? Uh, so WhatsApp is um, probably the most used messaging app around the world, especially in, the, uh, in, in South America, in Europe, in Africa, in Southeast Asia. Uh, it's highly used by, you know, uh, hundreds of millions of people. And since we are a network of global fact checkers around the world, uh, we just wanted to start this, you know, app, this chatbot on WhatsApp, and hopefully we'll be implementing new features in the future as well. Yeah, WhatsApp is actually the thing that I guess everybody, like in different countries, right. uses, right? Um, so I am familiar with that. So, you know, what is it like being, you know, an institute like Pointer, being a part of that, and seeing how um, confused sometimes people are, how mistrusting sometimes people are of the information that they're getting? Sure. Uh, the Pointer Institute is actually a crossroad organization that aims to bring journalists, uh, researchers, uh, fact checkers, and also ordinary users. So our goal in this chatbot is to serve as a bridge between different stakeholders in the society and then uh, just make sure people can have the access to accurate information wherever they you know, connect to Internet. So they don't need to use their laptops. They don't need to use their uh, computers. With just their smartphones, it's just a couple of seconds, matter of a couple of seconds to reach out to information that can save lives. Did you guys find any research on where people are getting their information or what are some of the most common misconceptions or types of misconceptions? So growingly, more and more users relying on social media to get their information. According to one of the recent studies, more than 50% of the uh, U.S. Uh, Internet users access their news on Facebook. Um, and that number is getting much more higher in countries where you don't have a press freedom or, you know, uh, a variety of outlets that you can rely on. People tend to rely on social media to get their information. So that becomes a very tricky area to get um to get be tricked by, you know, falsehoods like this. So uh, whenever they have any doubtful information, it's just very easy to check whether it's true or not and whether it has been fact-checked uh, already. So whenever you get a message from your aunt, from your cousins or your friends from overseas, uh, you just can make sure, you know, uh, is it true or not? It's that easy. Yeah, to your point, I mean, Facebook, which owns WhatsApp, I mean, Facebook is like a if you want to be misinformed and scared and all of that, you know, that's a great place to go, right? It's the opposite of what you're saying. Um, and so is, is there any connection with Facebook or are you guys just simply doing this with WhatsApp? So a um, number of organizations in our network are partnering with Facebook with their third party fact checking program. So they have been able to help users to get accurate information on Facebook as well. But this particular chatbot is um, exclusive to our work with WhatsApp. So even WhatsApp or Facebook or anyone, including our fact checkers, do not have any access to the messages that users send to our chatbot. 
so that's only surfacing the fact check that although they have been published by our fact checkers in 48 different countries, uh, so the chatbot is not only limited to U.S., uh, you can get fact checks from 48 different countries, and it's, uh, it serves the users by surfacing those more than 5,000 fact checks. So they don't necessarily have to be on Facebook. Uh, any information that you can see in our database uh, can be coming from any other platform. Uh, and eventually, this you know, chatbot will also help fact checkers and you know, users, journalists, to uh, be more careful and uh, strengthen against misinformation they see on uh, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others. So many other platforms have been uh, very fertile grounds for misinformation lately. Uh, but fortunately, we have been seeing those companies doing much more proactive uh, actions to handle the misinformation. And hopefully this chatbot will be one of the milestones that we'll see more fact-checking and accurate information on our social messaging streams. Yeah, and, and I know amazing things can be done through AI, but with something like this, especially because of the subject matter, we're still all, there's still a lot of uh, unknown about this virus. How difficult is it to create something like this? Uh, it's pretty difficult, actually, and we uh, highly rely on human expertise and resources, so we don't necessarily rely only on AI, uh, but we heavily use natural language processing tools in our chatbot uh, to connect uh, existing fact checks with other, you know, keywords, so users don't, well, I mean, fact checkers don't need to replicate the same fact check uh, tens of times, uh, but we still rely on human expertise, and as long as, uh, you know, people who spread falsehoods will uh, increase their scale, uh, we will need to use tools like AI and NLP, but at the end of the day, it will be, you know, core journalism work that we will be doing and helping people to, you know, uh, sort fiction uh, from truth. That makes sense. That makes sense there are real people behind it because it is so complicated. Bye, Mars. Thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it.